Every journey begins somewhere, and ours started right here, going to beautiful beaches only to see them destroyed by mankind. Right now, we are just two people, but we aspire to get an army behind us. So much of the problem seems overwhelming, but really it just takes more people like us to get on board and do the same thing. During our journey, we plan on putting measures into place through education and hard work. We have ideas on how to get companies to step up and be accountable and change their ways of packaging products. We want to get governments and leaders more involved in their local environmental issues and challenges. We have a lot of ideas and would love to hear more ideas from you guys. As we go through our journeys, we will share our ideas, plans, and goals. We hope others will pick up what we are doing in their local areas and as they travel around. We are also very passionate about helping out children throughout the world. We want to educate and show people that have not seen the struggles some children go through in challenging areas. We started a few years back by giving children that had never had a Christmas before a Christmas. For us, nothing is as rewarding as giving to the children. While giving a child that has never received a Christmas gift before is rewarding, what truly needs done is better education and medical services for these children. Just like our environmental goals, we have many ideas on how to go about bettering the future of the children. We would love to hear from you guys for even more ideas. If you want to help us, it is super easy to help our cause, and the best part is, it doesn't cost you anything. Mm -hmm. Simply like and share our videos on all social media, and help us get our cause and journey out to other people. Liking our videos helps it get more exposure in YouTube to similar-minded viewers. Sharing our videos across all social media platforms expands our reach for new viewers. Finally, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and watch as much of the video and ads as possible. Time viewed also helps us get more noticed on the YouTube platform. It also generates better revenues with advertisers. Thanks for watching everyone. Enjoy the video.
One of the best things about the cruising life is all the new people you meet. Getting to know and learn about other countries and cultures around the world is really eye-opening. At the same time, the lifestyle also makes it so these people move in and out of your life, and it is sad to see them go. We really enjoyed the time that we had with our Seychelles and Austrian friends that we recently met here in Phuket. We look forward to meeting up with them again someday. I get pretty mesmerized watching them take the boats in and out of the water. This one here belongs to a new friend of ours. It is a 17 meter custom aluminum cat. This boat is right at the size limit for the haul out equipment. I don't know if you guys will enjoy watching it as much as I do, but I hope you do. So enjoy. Okay, I have some questions, uh -huh. so the people will know why we why we are still here in Phuket, what we are waiting, what are we doing right now, you know, so, and when Matahong will be in the water. Okay, Thailand, it's because we like it here. It's nice, it's mm -hmm. beautiful, the beaches are amazing, the infrastructure is really good, uh, the internet is really good, which is where we come from, that's a issue. Oh, it's just, it's good. We like it here. But as far as like why we haven't left necessarily is because a lot of the borders are still closed due to COVID-19. Indonesia is open now, but because of the time of the year and the way the winds go, that makes it kind of rough to get through there. So we can't go through Malaysia. It's not open and there's no talk of them even opening it yet. Um, the only talk that I've read about is when they do open it, it will be to vaccinated uh, tourists, which then causes another problem here because yeah, Thailand has done an amazing job with COVID, but for some reason the vaccine here is lagging a little bit, although it's starting to accelerate quite a bit over the last month, especially here in Phuket. Mm -hmm. So as of next month, I read that we can sign up to get the vaccine June 7th, and it's now May 24th, is that right? Yeah. So, yeah, in about two weeks we can sign up to get the vaccine, and of course then you're going to have 30 days between when you get it to the second dose, 30 days-ish. So yeah, then we can go, and uh, if they open up borders to vaccinate people, then we'll be included in that. Yeah, and then of course we still have, because of the same border closure issues, we still have registration issues with the boat because of the rules that you have to deregister a boat here which involves taking the boat out of Thai waters to deregister yeah. which you can't do because the borders are closed so yeah it's, it's a mess but I think things are getting going to be accelerating here over the next month or two if you look at the UK you look at Israel you look at the US and Chile and these countries that got vaccinated Seychelles they, they really once they start going they really actually got vaccinated quite quickly so I think once the drive here starts really picking up steam, I think it will go pretty quick. Next question. Okay. Um, so we gonna sail from here, book it, go straight to the Philippines or we have to go other country first, next country? That depends what's open at the time that we leave. And more than likely we'll be going through Indonesia. 
and with our really lack of sailing experience, it's gotta be fun because we're going to be really good at sailing by the time we do it because Indonesia, the one going through there, is, there's some rough spots. A lot of uncharted areas, so we have to take our time. There's a lot of, we got a lot of uh, moving around winds. I mean, you can get down into the equator, to, you know, then you're pretty safe down in that. But then you're motoring a lot. But yeah, the winds are kind of against us and from what we've learn from our friends that have a lot of sailing experience you don't really want to be going into the weather you want to be going with the weather and unfortunately going through that path through indonesia this time of year you're going to be going into the weather so we're going to get a lot of experience quickly that's for sure yeah so if matahong will be get ready next month right we can put it her in the water so we can um, learn to sail around Phuket. Yeah, we have to get two things done for sure before we go into the water. We have to sand the bottom and, and the paint lights. it, and we have to put on the underwater lights. Um, mm -hmm. We've already checked the through holes, we've already checked the rudders, we've already done all that. So all the mm -hmm. stuff that's below the water line, we've already checked. And the only two things that need done, well three, sanding, painting, which is kind of one thing, and then um, the lights, the underwater lights. But we've got the underwater lights in finally, they're really high quality. Well, I'm really impressed with these things. So. They're heavy. Stainless yeah. steel, 316, and heavy. It'll be interesting to see once they're on the uh, boat. But these, you can select your color. Any color in the rainbow. So oh, do you have all cool. the colors? Yeah, can... and it's through an app. Oh, so it's got a Bluetooth cool. controller and an app. And you just download the app, and you can literally pick any color in the rainbow. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really nice. I can't wait here to be here in Phuket because it's nice. You know, she can... Yeah, I really, I really do like it here. But we also have another destination that we like as well. And I think once Starlink is up and it kills the whole internet issues that the Philippines has, yeah. I think that will drastically change where we want to be at any given time. Because El Nido is also pretty amazing. Yeah, I would love to live in India. I'd love to live there too. So, yeah, we're going to have some decisions to make once Starlink's up because of my job. I could literally live anywhere in the world if I have internet. So, yeah, it'll be interesting over this next year as these governments allow Starlink to come in. Okay, the next question is, are we looking for a crew or, you know, go back to the Philippines or just us to sail? I would like to have one more person. Um, there's another sailing channel um, that we watch called SV Delos. And back in the day, I mean, nowadays it's, it's just Brian and her. Um, because they have their baby, but I think maybe they'll start bringing crew aboard again. I don't know, but Delos was really built on having crew all the time. They always had, you know, um, two mains, and then they would have Brady, which is his brother, and his girlfriend or whatever, but then they would bring other people on as well. So, yeah, it was, it was cool. I, I kind of want to do that same thing. I have a new friend here in Phuket. He's from South Africa. His name is Kyle, and... He wants to go with yeah, us? he wants to go with us. Yeah. And then so uh, I wouldn't mind having one other person as well. Mm -hmm. And Kyle has about as much experience as sailing as we do, which yeah. is very little. Mm -hmm. So we're all going to be learning at the same time. So it would be nice to have one experienced person, but if we don't, we don't. It's not that it would be that big of a deal. Because once the boat's in the water, we're going to hire a local Thai captain here just to take us out probably every day for like a month, longer if we need it. Yeah. And we'll just go out constantly and yeah, uh, learn, 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 yeah. Because it's a long way from Thailand, Phuket, Thailand to Philippines, right? That's how many days or weeks or months? If you go straight through, everything I've read says it's about 10 to 14 days, but we don't plan on going straight through. Mm -hmm. So, and it's all, mostly, not all, but mostly coastal sailing. So that's good. You're not crossing any major oceans. You're not getting all crazy with that. However, our good friend Hubert said that really... And then uh, we learned a lot from this guy in the boatyard. He was only there for about a month before he had to go back to Austria. Yeah, but man, really nice. he was a wealth of information. He taught us a lot in a very short amount of time. Yeah. But the one thing that always rings in my head that him talking is the land is not your friend. So being out in the open ocean really is somewhat better because you can't run into the land. Because <laughs> yeah. really the land is the problem, not, not the water. The boat can handle the water. It's the people that can't handle the boat and the water sometimes. So, yeah. Yeah, 
hopefully we can go back to Philippines next uh, on August or something. I would like to have the boat in the water next month. It's May now, so okay. the end of June. I'd like to be in the water. I'd like to take the next two to four weeks just learning the boat. Oh.